We are Good afternoon We are Federico Jurajuría and Ramiro Navarro eh, Both from UTN eh, Facultad Regional Paraná And we are uh, el, el Electromechanical Engineering Student We are going to talk about our uh, final project from the subject uh, English 2. Well, to begin with some contextualization, we all know that over the last centuries, cities have been expanding almost exponentially all over the world. This has brought a a great problem, which is overpopulation. Not because of the amount of people there is, but rather the, the awareness that they have over healthy ways of life. They have little awareness about it. So this has brought industrialization. And because of all the waste that said industrialization generates, it can be difficult to manage. Hence, we have poor waste management, as we can see in, in the picture. A, an environment like this is, is uninhabitable. We all know that. So the United Nations uh, has, has established in its agenda some ways to treat this, to address this problem, sorry. Uh, this is by their, the Sustainable Development Goals. Um, there are 17 of them, but in this, in, this, in this project, we are going to address the number six, which is clean water and sanitation, the number nine, which is industry, innovation, and infrastructure, and number 11, which is sustainable cities and communities. But all this effort that the, that the UN has done, is it enough? Well, we can clearly see that it isn't. So in order to address this issue, it is important to use a solution that is environmentally friendly. So um, for uh, and the solution to this problem, an innovative solution, uh, there is the plasma gasification uh, system that uh, converts the waste solid material into a, a synthetic gas. Uh, for the objectives of the this project that we do, uh, we have to uh, we want to promote the awareness of the people with uh, the environmental. We want to evaluate evaluate the viability of this system in relation to how uh, how good is this uh, system, how it works, and his efficiency, and uh, expand this uh, outreach efforts. So this technology is more uh, is known around the world. To develop this project and this presentation, we uh, are going to do in three uh, main parts. The conceptualization uh, and from the waste generation and its consequences. Uh, it means uh, an introduction and, uh, and states the problem. In the second part, we are going to talk about uh, the uh, solution about the main principle from plasma technology. And the third part, uh, we are going to talk about the system operation uh, with a uh, descriptive analysis uh, of all the system and how it works. Um, to continue, we want to talk about the impact of this project 
uh, this mean uh, what we want to uh, this project uh, generates in the people and the, the people that is uh, listening and, and, and seeing. We want to change the energy generation para paradigm that we can't uh, create a, a unsustainable energy from uh, something that is a waste that they uh, that is uh, contaminating the world. And also, we are uh, giving use to waste. And in, in consequences of this, we are cleaning the planet. Firstly, let's see the impacts of this situation. As said before, uh, uh, big cities face significant challenges dealing with the amount of waste there is in the world. For example, in the year 2016, there has been a record of over 2 billion tons of waste generated in that, that set year, with most of it being plastic disposal that ends in, in oceans. A, con a direct consequence of this is the, the loss of biodiversity, of sea biodiversity. That we to that it adds up the, the inadequate uh, management of, of it uh, that causes big amounts of emission uh, in a year, which is something that needs to be reduced. And one may think that a big amount of waste uh, released in all the world that is not collected. Well, that's not the case. Uh, we have a look for data and although a big amount of the waste is collected uh, globally, nearly half of it is properly treated and that number uh, needs to be increased. There in the, in the graphic we can see what I just mentioned. You see that in some countries, although the treatment is highly efficient, uh, in some other parts of the world, it, it doesn't compensate what, what they do. So to, to make, a, to change this problem, uh, we state the solution with a, a plasma gasification. But uh, first we have to understand what is the plasma. The plasma is uh, the fourth state of matter. Uh, is a, a, a heated gas uh, that uh, has a an, an high level of temperature and uh, can be used for different uh, reaction in the electromagnetic and electricity fields, uh, the physics fields. And the formation process that we are showing in this, the screen uh, occurs in a furnace. We have the entries of uh, the waste. We have the electrodes and uh, the electric current uh, pass uh, from one to another and uh, creates the, the plasma. In the output of this furnace, uh, it's going to, to be the uh, plasma with, uh, heated because the, the exchange of temperature between the electric current and uh, the thin gas. So, uh, continuing uh, describing the plasma in this system, uh, there there are uh, chemical reaction. Uh, 
the individual reaction uh, with that are we showing the screen and the global uh, reaction uh, is the most important that we are uh, occurring all at the same time at the same time is uh, that uh, is below that we are showing in the screen. In order to understand how the system works, uh, firstly, we're going to physically describe the, the machine, how, how it looks like, let's say. In the upper part, we have the freeboard zone, which is where the syn gas goes once the, the waste is broken down and, and reacts, uh, as, as Federico said. Then we have the waste inlet, which is the point where waste is introduced along with coke and limestone uh, necessary for the chemical reaction. Then uh, in the bot almost in the bottom part, we have the plasma torches. There goes the, the torches that Federico described, which lead the plasma into the tube so that it can react with the, with the waste. Both the waste and the plasma torch are part of the gasification zone. This is where all the chemicals reaction take place and it forms what we want, which is syngas. But it also forms residues as a form of molten metals and um, sun-like glass, which ca can be taken out because of their density, it goes to the bottom part. So once the process is over, it has uh, the system, the machine, sorry, has a removable bottom. So that is taken out, then put back again, and the process begins again. So for understand uh, better this uh, system, we have a flow chart of how does it work. First, uh, we have an input, an interest of the sewage slush that is going to be the solid waste. And uh, this waste uh, enters in a dryer uh, that with the uh, thermal energy, this waste is a dryer and a it comes to the furnace, the plasma gasification furnace, uh, without uh, any percent of water. In this furnace, we have an input of electricity uh, that uh, we uh, have the talking about uh, later. Uh, sorry, uh, before. Uh, uh, about the electrodes and air input and uh, the output, the slag that Ramiro mentioned it before. <clears throat> uh, in the exit of this furnace, we have uh, the singas uh, that uh, have a lot of temperature. So we need to uh, heat exchanger. Uh, this device can uh, take all this heat and uh, uh, liberate it to the environment. After this uh, heat exchanger, the sing gas uh, is going to pass uh, from a, a, like a filter. A sing gas cleaning system is like a, a filter to uh, this gas. It's going to be a uh, 90, 90% uh, pure without uh, impures. So uh, all this uh, gas cleaning is going to be used in, in the last part of the operation, that is the gas engine. That uh, here we, we have to, sorry, we um, can uh, make energy from this thing gas. Uh, we can see the in the picture 
the output and the input only with air. We can, uh, the, the outputs are clean uh, gaseous emissions. We have no pollution and we have uh, thermal energy and electricity to approach uh, this system. Well, now we're going to see the ups and downs of these systems uh, to see if it's viable to, to carry out. Since this system is a waste utilizing one, it stands clear that the amount of it uh, will be reduced uh, from all over the world. It can generate sustainable energy that will be used in other systems, like we mentioned before. Uh, it has a high energy efficiency, meaning that the input is small compared to the to the big output that we we get from it and since using since we use this uh, plasma process uh, it a much bigger control can be had over the the pollution that it generates so it can be reduced this amount of pollution uh, to a minimum Well, on the other hand, also we have some flaws or a bad aspect of this system. Some of the mainly flaws uh, that uh, they are that uh, this system is so uh, costly. It has uh, an initial investment cost that we are uh, that in the reality that we live is uh, hard to all the the industries um this system requires um uh, uh people uh, of maintenance uh, and high level of uh, skills because is a uh, is a consequence that is a complex technology is a new technology that um uh, in this technology is in his beginnings and uh, continues uh, being complex. So not uh, anyone can uh, can use it without an and capacitation and studying all his system uh, really good. And the last one uh, is a uh, has a deficiency in regulatory terms that abarks about laws and, and studies about uh, all the the terms in a uh, in political laws. Sorry, I was redundant. Finally, in conclusion, we, we can say that uh, this is a, a sustainable uh, way to treat the future and, and go to to a like an uh, energy production that we have an sustainable energy and also we are uh, cleaning. Uh, all the waste that we have uh, in the earth and we are going to generate all this waste. So we can use this to create uh, a lot of sustainable energy. One of the most important things that we consider is continual development. It's not just um, initial advancements. I mean, we need to to have a continual improvement so that we can make this technology better in the future. Not just what can do now, but what can we make it do in the future. And well, uh, public awareness is something very important. Uh, 
because like we said in the beginning, it's all about awareness of ways of life. We all need to, we need that people know how to, how to treat the world because it's the only one we have and where we live on. Thank you so much for your attention. We are Ramiro and Federico and we wish good luck and good year.